from the bottom. From the bottom. You know we go. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's recording in Germany. You sure you don't, <laughs> you sure you ain't got no no gum in your mouth this time? I'm good. I'm good this time, son. I'm good. I'm, matter of fact, I'm gonna give me a, a syrup of water. Give me a sip of water. Well, man, I want to say uh, well, happy New Year to all y'all. This is uh, from the bottom. Been a long time coming. Me and my Conrad. Jr. dot five oh four in the building. Uh, we want to send a special shout out this this episode is dedicated to Miss Williams. R.I.P. Now uh, we shooting this episode on a what's today Sunday, but y'all probably ain't gonna get it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> So don't mind. So so please forgive the delay, but hey, it's a work in progress. You heard? Yeah, you know we we only gonna get better with time. You know, it's the first episode, so we gotta learn a lot of stuff. You know, but we are gonna be working on it. So y'all just bear with us. You know, turn your radio up, sit back, and man, I guess uh, should listen to us talk then. Talking blabber and blabber and blabber. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. <laughs> it was Luther Vandross right there. <laughs> <laughs> so what we got on this list tonight, man? New what Year's, y'all want New Year's resolution. New man, Year's man, resolution. Should, should we even say New Year's resolution? Mm, I don't know. time they get this. Some people resolutions are gonna be in left. Man, left, forgotten about, buried, RIP'd, hashtag. I don't know, man. I don't even know if people should make resolutions. You hey, know what you just go do? I was yo. Like people like they they had a New Year resolution, like, man, so New Year come and get back in shape. Hey, why you gotta wait for why New you Year to get back in shape? Hey, if you ever noticed, that's the same thing you said last week about getting in shape. Man, I'm going to wait till next week, man, and I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> be like, it's all repetitive. You, I thought about it, man. Me and my partner, we used to be in high school, man. We'll, we'll, be, we'll get our report card. We'll be like, oh, some C's, maybe a B and a D. He be like, man, you know what, man? I'm about to do my work, man. I'm about to get better grades. I'll be like, you right, son. Man, that first week of school, you doing homework. You turn in a couple extra assignments. That's about a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap. This after New Year's? No, no, I'm saying. You know how I'm I'm just comparing it to like the New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah. Because how yeah. we used to be like, man, man, next, I'm, man, I'm about to go ahead and do that, man. But I'm saying that's how people be like, man, I'm about to go ahead and, and do that. And they'll never end up doing it. It's just like a New Year's resolution. Be like, man, this year, man, I'm about to, st- I'm about to stop drinking, man. I'm about to stop smoking, man. I'm about to be more involved in my kids' lives, man. <laughs> doom, man, doom, no, man. doom. Man, seeing their kids in like six months. Now it's a new year. Now they want to switch it up. For real, be like the new year. Yesterday was just like today. Another day. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I be hearing a lot of people come up with a lot of stuff. I say next week, it ain't going to be here no more. No. They're going to say it for next year. They're going to say it for next New Year. Uh, the thing is, like, people be like, hey, uh, I want to get in shape. They do it for like a week. Then they be gone again. Mm-hmm. But she, man, that's one thing that's hard. I ain't lying. They always say, man, once you get to a certain age, that weight don't go nowhere. And they got that. No, the thing I don't get is, man, how you supposed to be healthy if you get so much cheap food for cheap you get the bad food for cheap like how are you gonna spend ten dollars on a salad and you can get a four dollar meal no which one are you gonna pick they know how it is because i'm saying the average person is always on the go i'm saying you know it's we always on the go so look shh, let me get that cheap meal up out even though it's buku bad for you <laughs> that'd be the cold part 
You be knowing, you be up in the drive through be like, man, I don't know why in the world I'm sitting up here about to get all these nuggets and all this this burger. Damn. But I don't know a lot of young people dying from heart attacks now, though. Man, it's... Uh, and, like, having all these health complications and stuff. I said it's from the food. When when I seen a picture of somebody uh, spraying fruit I'm with a, a hazmat suit on, I'm like, wait, why are you doing that? If you spraying... What we eating shouldn't it shouldn't you be like embracing what you spraying, not with a suit on? So I'm starting to think that I'm saying it ain't the right type spray. I and I'm saying you know, and it's 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 sad to say, man, but it's poo, <laughs> it's pathetic, man. We we they chemical they chemical fine if that's even a word. That's not even a word. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Our food and that's messed up, man. But we got a New Year's resolution though. And hopefully that is to change things around. Oh no. Man, I just wanna be comfortable. Man, that's it. That's you know what? That's it. That's all I wanna be. I don't want this huge house. Cause I I I I I, I had a fortunate chance to go in my cousin's house that was huge and I'm like, yo, this is a big house, man. You know what? I just wanna live comfortable. If I'm blessed with the house, fine. But you know what? Give me give me four rooms with two bathrooms, you heard me? And a nice yard. And I'm good. Well, you know, that's kind of considered a big house. <laughs> <laughs> four rooms? Four rooms? Think, well, I'm saying, we, we have a little one on the way, right? And I'm saying, got to have another extra room either for the toy room. Think about it, cause man, I don't want to have that in the living room. Company comes over, like you know how kids just like to be all energetic and just perf- perf- in their performance stage mode for company. I was like, ah, oh, come on now. Well, yeah, you got a point there. Hey, but uh, tell me about that Rousey fight. I ain't see it, dude. I'm gonna make we, I'm gonna make this clear. I'm pretty sure she got paid some binges for that loss because when old girl hit her, she made her she made Rhonda look like she had no skill set ever. Like there was no type of training involved, you know. Like when you go play, when you go play ball, and cats be like, "Hey, y'all trying to run a four on four? Be like, "Yeah!" And the dude take that one jump shot, and you say to yourself, "He know dang well he never picked up a basketball in his life. He need to quit it." Yeah, he had the chick had her looking like that type. I'm like, man. She looked like she just want to give up on life. So you think she should retire? How long did she even fight? That's what I want to know. I know she's been around a couple of years, I think. She, I been, she must have been in them amateur league. I think so. I don't even know. Uh, we so you know, we might have to do I some just, more. Re- I just realized who she was. She had the winning streak going on. Yeah, until she fought that big chick. That chick, boy, pff, pff, man. Little like big, that, big chicks need love, too. Man, that chick. That's the type of chick you take with you everywhere. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know how you be in a relationship with a girl who fight in UFC. Like, can you imagine you having an argument with her? Like, and you get wrong? Man, man ain't nothing you can do. Ain't nothing you can do. Like, she put you in a submission hole. Oh, man. Or, like, do you, like, with a quick two-piece and then put you in a choke hole? <laughs> you ain't leaving. Uh, you moment. ain't leaving. Like what? The, what you hey, supposed to do? Hey, the first thing you gonna think about it be like her skill set, girl. Who you think you playing with? And then all of a sudden you gonna get that that so raven vision. Uh, ding ding ding. Uh, I'm sorry, baby. You right? Yeah, You're I don't right. know what You're I right. do with that. One. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. You right? You won. I love you. Yeah, she sit there and snap your arm in half or something. Ish, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. But there would be something to see, though. Hey, what? Uh, on to the next subject. What do you think about electronic love? When I say that, is because some people love their electronics more than they love 
themselves more than they love their family. You know, like, a dude would take his phone before he take his kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, man. like you over here, like you know how people leave, leave kids in the car, forget about them. Like, dude, don't forget their phone, or girl, don't forget their phone. Like, so they go in the store, they get to pat themselves down. Like, oh, oh, gotta run back to the car. Forgot my phone. Forgot the phone, or like they have a panic attack when the battery dies and stuff. Man, but how many cases you found that kids was left in a car? Well, summertime is, you know, it's bad, man. But you never hear about them cell phones. You know? Yep, you a, hey. you a, hey. you know what? You never even heard of a hoverboard being blown up in a car as hot as it's been. And no, I, them man, thing was blowing up. Man, in it a was, car too? It was blowing up. Them thing, but that fad that. went quick though. That thing came and left. Man, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine myself doing doing it though. I just, I just feel to be lazy, man. Doing what? On a hoverboard? I don't know about that. Now, if I got the right price, I will buy one. Man, I ain't. I guess you can't ride it nowhere though. But hey, I I'm still off, ride it. I still bumps, <laughs> huh? Gotta watch out for bumps and rocks. Man, that thing would be so cool to take to the mall. I say, like, you want to go for see, a walk on see, the walk on the or like a walk on walk somewhere. See, that's the type of kind you have at Mall of America. I ain't never been there. Yo, I hear it's big though. But I heard that thing is huge. Nah, I just want to, you know, like, say, like, you know, you and your old lady go for a walk down on the pier or something. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> a walk? <laughs> I guess a road down on the pier. A road. Hey, baby, you want to go ride on the pier? Or what? On uh, hoverboards. Listen, I mean, she can't give you no excuse. My no legs excuse. tired. She can't. Like, cause, you know, her leg, y'all rolling everywhere. <laughs> me like, literally, baby, you trying to roll with me? I don't know, because it's, it's a little too hilly around here. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to have some horsepower to go around here. Man, but nah, man, talking about this uh, electronic love, man, all this computerized love, man. I don't know, you know what, I, <clears throat> I think it's people just be, I don't no know. one knows how to communicate. Ever since... Let me see. I want to say it was, I want to say it started off with like MySpace or like Tag or like, it, it started off with something well, no, social. That electronic though. No. That's well, social media. No, love. but if you think about it, what has everything become now? Because you couldn't really go on Facebook and MySpace on your phone until it hit your it hit the phones that's when people just found it more just became more or less communicative you know communicative if you think about it because once facebook hit the cell phones people stopped being on cell phones once youtube hit the cell phones people stopped being stopped conversating because they're always on youtube they're always on instagram because it's on their phone and well, but then sometimes uh, it pays to be on your phone because sometimes you just don't know what the other person talk about. Like you can ask them a simple question and they give you like the most outlandish answer and sometimes it's just better to be on your phone. Well, depending on where you at. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but now you catch people like at funerals, they, they on their phone. You yeah. know, even when they tell you to cut your phone off on the flight, people still on their phone. People still on their phone trying to get that last little five minutes. Man, I caught somebody trying to swim with their phone. Like, they were snorkeling. What they were snorkeling they? with their hand, one hand above the water. <laughs> <laughs> above the water? Above the water. You know, trying to take that perfect picture. Then you know I seen people walking in pools with the water with their phone. 
That's buku crazy, man. Somebody, huh? Man, with the water. I mean, with the phone and the water. They just had a. I just seen a Samsung uh, commercial today, man. And it was talking about, you know, you can swim underneath the water. So you can. It's going to catch on fire. I'm like, man. See, they had Lil Wayne on the what, pouring the champagne on it. That's how they sold so many foes. No, but, they were going to sell anyway. It's only two big people. It's only iPhone and Samsung. But, dude, you can't even take your Galaxy S7 on the plane. No, you can take your. I got it. I got the No. Seven. Wait, what kind of phone it's is it? It's the Note. That? It's the Note. Yeah, the note you can't take. Bad. I'm like, so what if you just bought it like the day before because you wanted to to go out of town all fresh? Well, you better think twice. Then you want to you want something to catch on fire up there in the sky. Who you telling? I'm like, I'm looking every time they say that. I, I'm looking around like, hey, which one of y'all got that seven? <laughs> you better do something. Uh-uh. See, I was talking talking to my little partner today, and uh, he said he just got a phone. What's the new phone? iPhone 7 just came out, right? Mm-hmm. Got the iPhone 7. Dropped in jacuzzi. Don't got no insurance. Ooh, 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 ooh. That guy for Christmas. Yep. Yeah. He says it's gone. What the? <laughs> Why is the phone by the jacuzzi? I bet you he was looking for some music. Man, you know. That's that, but that's I thought... that electronic love. You got to take it with you. Man. Or you don't feel complete. You know what, bro? I ain't lying. I did me a test. I tried not taking my phone with me. You know how peaceful it is, man. I'm thinking like, you know what? I need to get to a pay phone to check on my wife to see how she doing. I'm like, I want to get to those days where you you bought a uh, you bought somebody help be like, hey, you mind if I use your house phone? I say that would be nice. Except I don't remember nobody's number. <sighs> you need a black book. I remember my my girl number, my mama number. My brother old number. He don't even got that number no more. Your brother old number. Yeah, I got a feeling if I, yeah, I'd be, yep, I'd be messed up. <laughs> oh, man, bro. I have to give me a hey, pocket, the, pocket something. What was the pocket thing? The little notebooks, the little, the little, yeah. like, two-inch notebooks, little spiral. Yeah, man. But, man, that's all with, hey, uh, this is uh, let me see. That's another part of our segment. Uh, what electronic love? <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, well, for real sure, though. Then, you know, with Roger, then Roger tried to make a song, "Computer Love." That Computer Love, day. and that was back in the he day. Was trying to tell you something back then. People just didn't listen though. Man, they did, bro. Cause uh, mobiles, man, mobile phones. What the? F- it started from like. I'm telling you, bro. It started from Facebook. Everybody used it. Man, at the library down in Kent. Man, people was on those computers all day trying to get on MySpace. Then all of a sudden, Facebook became popular. Well, didn't they have a limit? You had an hour, but people used to get on and off of them things all day. Oh, you could have an hour a day, or you could just have an hour at a time? No, I think it was maybe like three to four hours a day. Some people, yeah. And people be on there all day. I'm like, dude. Uh. And then, as soon as it became convenient on your phone, if you got a phone and it's Android, period, you're going to have MySpace and you're going to have YouTube. Probably two of the most... Uh, search apps and websites online and phones Facebook and Google I mean Facebook, Google and YouTube because if you want to know something who you go to? Google if you want to watch something and know how to do something you go to YouTube well, you don't even gotta really go to school no more you can learn everything on YouTube man and you know what though I ain't gonna lie I'm going to veer off on this section. That kind of make me think like, yo, they killing us with these student loans. Because if I can watch a video to teach me how to do something, <laughs> why am I going to go sit in school and pay these people to teach me to do something? I watch for free. You got a point there. Well, and, you know, like like Fab say, 
Everybody got opinions because it's free Wi Fi. Oh man, he killed it with that one. He killed it with that one. Hey, for real, for real though, man. But nah, man, that's that's for real though, man. But I'm gonna jump to this I'm next one. To the next one. one. To the next no proposal. No proposal. No proposal. So if you was to propose to your girl after being with her for about three plus years, yeah. You down for her, and she says she down for you. Oh, but so she my ride or die. She your ride or die. I'm talking about you buckle her three times in the car and she with you, son. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You propose to her and she give you the, the words nobody would ever want to hear. No. <laughs> what would you do? Would you leave or would you walk away with her? Well, my, uh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Well, she ain't my ride or die. I'm going to have to ride out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, said, I thought you was with me till the wheels fall off. but <laughs> Yeah, no, that wheel fell off and she was gone. <laughs> <laughs> she forgot to change the tire, huh? Yeah, that? yeah. Yeah. She ain't holding you down like full flash in the Cadillac. No, I, I going to have to go and skate on out that situation. Uh, I don't know. It would be kind of different because by that time, you got to be staying together. And if you stay in together, yeah, I don't, that'd be a hard one. I mean, I still have to let it, I don't, I don't know if I'll work on it. Yeah, I have to go and let it go. Yeah, I have to let it go. You know what? I'm going to keep it real with you. Who, that song? <laughs> Who what? I just have to take a TKO. TKO. Go. Wait, TKO. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Stick it, yo. Hey, you the old school. But you know what, son? I, I'm gonna have to. You gonna have to call me Craig on this one, and I'm gonna just be straight up like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> Deuces, cause uh, you mean Chris Brown, man. Oh, you right. Him too. But nah, man. For real, I ain't about to be chilling with you all this time, thinking I'm about to grow with you, and I say, will you bury me? You gonna hit me with the no, man? Well, no, it happens a lot these days. Well, it just suck if you do it like a big proposal. Well, see, you gotta also think about it. People all be they be psyched up off of the um, all of the money that's put into a proposal, or all of this and all of that. And I'll be like, some people don't be wanting all that extra stuff, man. Cause honestly, bro, my man, my father in law told me, "Hey, man, if you would have said that you didn't want a wedding, I'd have just gave y'all some money and called it a day." I'm like, so we could have just went to the courthouse and just had like a little nice get together. I'm like, so damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, I would have done that. Well, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, if she say no. You gotta let her go. You, sh- man, you can't hold on, man. That's that's man. Hey, you know what? That's like that's like some chicks that don't have enough hair to put in a ponytail, and they still have it and have the rubber band hanging on. Baby, just let it go. Just let it go. Well, let I don't know. Swing. But then, what about like the people who be in a relationship for like seven, seven to ten years? You basically could say married. What if you was in a relationship that long and she said no? Somewhere along the lines. <laughs> Would you be okay Yo, with that? No, no way in the world. I've been sitting well, up in. It's been seven to ten years. Okay. You popped the question. Okay. Oh, well, so then when you popped the question, now she's like, nah, that's all right. You know that's what? That's all right. And I guess that's true. You know what? But no. But that's true, though. But what if. Okay. Now, say if you did pop the question in your third or fourth year being together, right? And she said, no, I just need a little bit of time. But then, three years down the line come and you ask again and she say no again. What would you do? I got to let it go. Now, that's hard because by that time, nine out of ten, you've been to had kids. If okay. you had kids. I mean, well, if you can have kids. Well, that's true. But I, I, probably, I probably let it go. 
But see that that brings that see that'll bring us and shift us into our next subject. Do you have to fight for love? Now would you fight for something like that? Now uh huh. Well if they love you, you shouldn't have to fight for it. But if she told you no that she ain't ready after seven plus years, you ain't ready. No, because I know it's a side guy. <laughs> side his name must be Tyrone. <laughs> well she better call. <laughs> Since she better call Tyrone. <laughs> be no. like, Tyrone, you need to come get me. My man just kicked me out. Yeah, I don't know. After seven years now, she got a side guy or something. I can see that happening. I can definitely see that happening. Or she could be a player. She just ain't ready to settle down. Yeah, and you know what? Because girl, you know, girl play a lot too. It ain't just the guys. And like they always say, girls normally will play more than guys. Well, look, a girl smart than God. They know how to hide. God just do some dumb stuff. They do the dumbest. I don't know. I don't know what happened down the line in nature. All right, let me ask you this though: What age should you be when you don't cheat? What age? You know, because I'm like Ti. I'm a grown man. What are them cheating for? Might as well leave, and that's true. No, you might as well leave. Tell me what's gonna be the same after you cheat. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put it to you like this: If you've been in a relationship, I, if you've been in a relationship, man, even if you in well, twenties kind of matters. Let me see, like early twenties, because some people graduate school and are actually to the point where they're ready to commit. So, I guess it depends on the person. Because if you so, what what age do you think you should not cheat no more? Shouldn't cheat no more, man. I say like twenty one, and you know, cause then you you grown. Why are you, you cheat? And that's true. Like, what are you gonna be able to do now after you cheat? And sh- you know what I say? Once you start dating, and I say this to young folks, because young folks have the tendency not to care about how they take care of themselves when it comes to having say it's somebody they're in a relationship, but the but the chicks decide, you know, one of them decide to step out knowing that, you know, it's just been them two. But they messing with a, another person. They don't know what that person may have, but they want to go all out. And then before you know it, somebody contracted something. And there you go. Versus just saying, look, I'm digging somebody. I ain't trying to, you know, I ain't trying to get no feelings caught up. And I know this ain't going nowhere. We need to do south. But then that's when people start clinging on like, well, he is good in this area or she's good in this area. She can cook, but her conversation is a poo, but I still love her. You see, but you know, I'm saying that's how it is. People just be in relationships just to say they have somebody, which sucks because it's going to end up being a fail anyway, man. Because that's like you going, you being a faithful church member and you have your spouse. They hate church and they don't like to go. Y'all ain't going to have nothing but arguments and confusion no matter what you do. Because the other person going to always say, how you going to tell me to do that? You ain't being nothing but a hypocrite. What happened? Your God said to do that. And before you know it, that's how people just clash and clash. And this is, you know, it's the same thing in a relationship. Wise. That's what I say. Yeah, you got to point that out. That's, that, that, that's, that's how I put that, man. But, uh. But our last stinger right here, we're going to have to uh, uh, is this, send this. Is this a sports section? We got to send this shout out. Shout out to all the sports fans, the sports heads, the ankle breakers, dunking on people type fans. You heard me? This one. Westbrook or uh, Harden. Who would you go with? Who would who would be your, the, 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 your general of the flow? Right now? Right now. Right now, right now. I'm talking about like so right now, he just came into the present and it's just right now, like right now, right dang, now. Dang, that's right now. Uh, <laughs> dang, I'm gonna have to go with uh, what team they on? What you mean, what team they on? Like they, you mean who I who I start a team with? Who would you? Who would you? Yup, that you. Who would you want to be your captain, your your general, your your? I got the uh, your lieutenant. And uh. Trying to see. Because you know now. You know, what's the name? You know, Russell got it. He with Jordan. 
He a high flyer. You know, but I don't know if I own the team, I don't really care about wearing Jordans. Yeah. Uh that's he true. got this 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 star superstar status. Well I'm about to go with Hart. You go but yeah. see why? Because the you know, you fear the beard. Oh wait a minute, they <laughs> fear they fear the brow. Fear the brow, fear the beard. <laughs> well, no. Anthony, well, the, shout out to Anthony Davis. <laughs> no, you know, cause uh the thing that he do, you know, that athleticism by Harden gonna slow down sooner or later. But the athleticism by Harden, Harden yeah, James James Harden so crafty. Oh, Westbrook. Westbrook athleticism gonna slow down. It's gonna slow down. But I'm thinking uh Harden would be crafty for years to come. So therefore, I can rock with him for a while, you know, and uh, I don't know. I could just see him taking his team further down the road anyway. If I start a team with him, he can play point guard and shooting guard. Can you imagine having Russell as a shooting guard? And he can't shoot. You know what? That's true. He got a pull up jumper though. His put, yeah. He got it, you know what? F- about 15 feet, I want to say. 15, 18 feet from the goal. He I nice mean, now. That's who I would take. Uh, who would you take? I, mm, I'm going to break it down. Why I'm with, why I'm with, my answer. Why I choose my answer. Okay. Now you got Oh, you're trying to say, I didn't break it down. No, no, what no, you no, 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 no. I'm going to get a fans out there. All right, the go. reason why I would say, who I'm about to choose, you know, who I'm about to say. All right. Now, Westbrook, you can't stop to do it in open traffic. If it's you and Westbrook, you can forget about it because he going to get the foul. Or don't go on you, get the foul, or just get the foul. And uh, he has an inside jumper. He can take it to the basket anytime. He can get to the rack anytime he want to. Now, his choices in shots is what I it, that's something I disagree with him on because within the last 5 minutes of the game he can hurt you or help you because there's been many games man where I seen him just take the ball down the court and just shoot just shoot just shoot go and draw a charge for unnecessary reasons and they end up losing because he wants to take all his shots Versus him depending on his players. No matter how poor your players are, you're supposed to depend on them. You're supposed to have that trust in them. Now, the reason why I say this with James is because James came from OKC being a sixth man. And all of a sudden, he's the general of his team. And he's making the guys around him better. Because you hadn't really, you hadn't really heard anything Good about Houston since McGrady, and you know how long ago that was. Yeah, yeah, man. When he had me, how good Houston was, and how they were least somewhat playoff materials. But ever since James, I mean, you know that died down. James came, and man, the guy can get to the rack whenever he want to. Wait, but they ain't had nobody since Tracy McGrady. Who they had since Tracy? You let me know. They had Kyle Larry, but. He sucked with them. They had uh no weight. Yeah, you know I mean. Now, when was Steve Francis with them with Houston? It was before he he got he traded for McGrady. He got traded before McGrady. And uh, yeah, I don't, now you got me thinking, man. I don't know who was with after y'all you know I mean. Exactly my point, right? I could have swore they had somebody. Aaron Brooks. Though. Yeah, he did have Aaron Brooks. Aaron Brooks, but they were pool. Uh, Jason Terry was with him. Yeah, Jason. No, he's with them. He was just with them. He's with them now. No, he with Milwaukee no, right now. He sure is. He was with them a couple years ago. Yeah. Man, I can't think of nobody who was with them. Nobody was with them. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, it's like, man, he came. James Harden, you know, man, he came. Well, they had the white, but that was that was a flunk. He sucked. Boy, yeah, you got a point. He sucked. Now nah, playing in Atlanta, he hurt now. Nah, I believe who, who? Dwight. That's what he played for. Yeah, no, he doing all right with. Atlanta. He no, that's what I'm saying. He's doing his thing in Atlanta. I man. mean, he wasn't work. He wasn't hurt with uh with Houston. It was just that so so many people get that ball, and if you got Harden nine out of ten, he gonna have the ball ninety percent of the time. 
Now, when Dwight was with Orlando, he was the man who got the ball all the time because they went through him. But before James was with Houston, though, uh, that's where Dwight was at. Or did they go at the same time? No, uh, Harden went before James. Wait, Harden went before James? Yeah. <laughs> Harden went before James, so that's he tried to help him get there. So, yeah, that's what happened. That was uh, – but it looks like um, we somewhat settled that debate. So when we actually have this episode, we're going to uh, – we would like the viewers to actually give out their comment, their points of views, their opinions – Whatever it is, you go ahead and uh, you go ahead and leave them. And once again, we don't know when you're gonna get this. And then uh, in episode two, we'll explain more who we are. Cause uh, I guess we should have did that this one, but uh, that's what happened. You know, we get to talking. Ain't no telling where it can go. No telling where it can go. <laughs> you know, so uh. You know, thank you for listening. If you did take the time out of your day for listening, you know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make it like you know, we're gonna make an email and I don't know, probably Twitter and all that stuff, so y'all be able to reach us. So you know, if y'all got some questions and stuff, you know, just just write them down right now. I guess people don't write nothing down no more. Yeah. Just uh, put it in your phone, put color your note. Phone, yeah. That's like a little plug right there. I should I should send something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh color note that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put uh yeah, put in your phone so uh when we do get this stuff going and popping, you know, you could just send us some questions that you want to hear us answer. And uh I just wanna say thank you for listening again and I'm gonna pass it on to my partner, comrade, so he gonna finish it off. Finish it like one, two, microphone check to check. And anybody never know because he's talking at that. But hey, <laughs> nah, I like to uh, uh, give a shout out to ourselves on this first episode of a lot of editing. Long time coming. Long time coming and uh, feels good. We, 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 probably, we probably actually do this every night. <laughs> we just can't tape it We just can't tape it But if we could Boy we'll have materials Out the yin yang So we're gonna try to bring y'all once One episode a week Hopefully you know We got family so Ain't no telling how it's gonna go Yeah ain't no telling but uh I like to uh, send my uh My love to my moms You know rest, rest in peace R.I.P. R.I.P. Cat Dan Williams, you know. Uh, we love you, girl. We love you. But any jokes that come from me came from her. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know what it is. We gonna holler at y'all. We checking out from the bottom. Cal and Jay, Ed Day. You hoo!